G'day, g'day guys. Welcome to another layout. I'm just quickly showing you the beautiful Poppies collection that it, you can get from Scrapbook Fantasies. These guys make their own. Alicia Redshaw does her own design work and they are an Aussie company. And if you would love to check them out, there is a link in the description below. And this collection was gifted to me by these guys and I was having a play I absolutely love the texture on this wood. You need to stick around to the end of the video to see it all up close. It is the best wood texture that I have seen hands down for ages. I absolutely love it. I need it in larger pieces. <laughs> so Alicia, if you're listening, I need it in larger pieces. So 12 by 12 would be great. Now, I am, she probably already has it. Um, okay, so this is an A4 collection. So it came to me and it was, so you got three sheets of the three different designs. They're double backed, so they've got something different on both sides. And on the bottom half, you've got a cut, a cut file, um, a cut file, a cut apart sheet on the bottom of them. And it's super simple. Look, honestly, these designs are so easy to cut. They're, it's not like really intricate fussy cutting. It's super, super simple. So you can save yourself a stack of money. You can, and they did supply me with the, um, the die cut pieces. But I chose to do the fussy cutting because I love fussy cutting. I love that side of things. And it gives me more option because that way I've got more and I can cut out as many or as few as I want. So I love that. Now I am going to town all of these pieces. So these were half of an A4. So they were A5 size and A5 size. I should probably tell you that that is, I think it's six by eight. I think from memory, six by eight. Um, now I wanted to make these not look so matchy match. So what I've done is I've gone around the edge of all of these wood panels that I've chopped up and I've put ground espresso distress oxide around the edges just to help them pop and look separate from the next panel. And I did consider cutting them all into strips, but I thought, no, I think it would look better if I leave it in panels. So as you can see, I've gone ahead, I've put them down. Now I'm cutting the ends off and those ends I'm going to mishmash at the top of the page. So it comes together, but each of these pieces of wood are a different width, which I didn't really take into consideration when I first started. So I, it, it comes together, but I do a little bit of chip chop here and there and it, it totally, it works. It looks so good at the end. And this is for Remembrance Day. This is going up on Remembrance Day. And I want to draw attention to the fact that it is Remembrance Day. And for us Aussies, you know, it's when we we take a minute silence, a minute. Doesn't that seem so insignificant to what our armed forces have given up and sacrificed? Like if you just give yourself five seconds just to think about it and just, it doesn't matter what country you're in, because your country, this is our Remembrance Day, but you guys will have in your country your relevant day that you have something like this. So I know the US has, I think it's Memorial Day. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really know. So I'm speaking off the cuff. England, I assume, would have some sort of Remembrance Day as well. The same as us. Maybe Canada would do it the same I'm not too sure but um, now I do want to draw attention to this because as you know if you're new to my channel you don't know this I leave in the good the bad and the ugly okay if I stuff something up I will leave it in here to show you that nobody's perfect 
Just because I'm a content creator doesn't mean that it's perfect. And sometimes we watch people's videos that have been so heavily edited that we feel like we can't do it ourselves. Now, that is not what this channel's about. I will put it out there. I decided that I was going to do lumberjack plaid and blueprint sketch on my title, which is Remembrance Day. And I thought that would look really cool because it's going to match the Australian flag. Okay, because our Australian flag, our national Australian flag is red, white and blue. Our Aboriginal, and Torres, our Aboriginal um, flag is red, yellow and black. Um, but I thought the red, white and blue, because it's in the photo. So Angela is holding the Australian flag in the photo. But I ran into a bit of a hiccup. So I popped it all down on the offset. I did a slightly larger offset. Uh, I did 0.87 of an up offset for this particular one. And I'm putting it down. And it wasn't until I got to about here, which there's no turning back when you use art glitter glue, let me tell you. If you've reached this point, you've gone too far. <laughs> you can't. There is no returning. You have, it's stuck, it's done, it's, I could have recut it, but I wanted to show you how I would fix it in case. In case you order from Scrapbook Fantasies, if you order one of their titles and you may not have a cutting machine and you may not have the, this is what my idea was guys, you, the stars behind it, I thought that would look really cool. Then I realized it looked very American. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But it completely, I, I totally lost the Australian flag in it all. It just completely, just, it don't, I don't know why. I moved the silver stars out of the way because our flag has got the Union Jack up in the top left hand corner and the Southern Cross in the bottom right, in, on the right hand side of the flag. And it's like, um, I completely lost it. And it's when I sat it on here and because I'm using the red poppies that I fussy cut and the green sprigs, you know, like it, it's all coming together and it looks really pretty with the wood and the poppies and it's authentic. It's great. And you can see in the photo that you can see the Australian flag in there. You can see that it's blue, red and white and not a problem. It was all coming together. But for some reason, Remembrance Day in the blue and the red, it didn't look Australian at all. <laughs> it looked because Australian normally when you hear Aussie, 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 oi, 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 it's usually we are dressed in green and gold. You know, um, green and gold are more our colours, but our flag is red, white, and blue. Oh, can you feel my pain here, guys? Can you can you feel what I'm doing here? It's just like really. So I decided that I would start to put these flowers down. See if this is where I wanted to go. See if this. Sorry, I need a drink. Need a mouthful of water. Sorry, I've done a heap of voiceovers in a row, and yeah. Hang on a sec. There you go. I told you it would only be a sec. Now, I did bring the stars back in and still, uh, I still don't like it. I think I should have put a second photo on this layout and that would have possibly helped me. But that Remembrance Day was just killing me. It wasn't right. And I thought, okay, just stick it down. Just stick it down and you'll be fine. It'll be fine. And at this point, there is no returning, right? That is now officially your title. I love that. I love the background, that wood. It, it shows up so well. Again, I'm going to plug them because they've done an amazing job. Scrapbook Fantasies. Links in the description. They, these are all the cut apart sheets. See how it's got that nice white border around it? I only like a fine white border, so I cut mine really close. But by having that white border, it gives you 
a lot of wiggle room when you're using your scissors. Now, can you see that my right hand is not moving? It's opening and closing the scissors only. My left hand is doing all the work. It's moving the whole piece. Can you see how it's just that hand? And these just cut out beautifully. I am still not happy with the title. And it is at this point that I go, okay, we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. How? Watch this. So I come back in with the discarded piece of the cut file that I no longer... Now, the problem I had with this was I didn't have the... Oh, man, this stinks. I've got to tell you, this masking fluid, it smells like fish. It. I don't know why. It's the Cosmic Shimmer Masking Fluid. If you've never used masking fluid before um all the others i've ever used have not smelt as bad as this green one but anyway um i like the green because you can see it when you put it on white now i've gone along and i've put some masking fluid in the little loops so that it stays white then i'm just putting this back over the top and i'm coming in with my grand espresso and look it doesn't cover it perfectly. It covers it enough that I'm happy with it because you can see a little bit of the blue coming through. And I'm just using one of my mini blending brushes and I'm just, I'm doing it carefully and I'm doing it slowly. And where I'm going over the loops, I've got the masking fluid in there. The masking fluid is dried. It takes like five seconds to dry. And that way then you can come back across and remove the masking fluid and you've got the white loop is still it's essentially it masks off the area so this is me going to town trying to fix this title and in the end I'm actually happy with it if you get um, if you get too heavy-handed with it, it could end up with a problem the one thing I did notice and I ended up fixing it quite simply believe it or not is I know I had the white offset but because everything else on the layout isn't actually white so yes I've got a white border around my photo but and around the flowers but it's not very it doesn't come across white the wood is white paint but it's it's an off-white it's not bright white so when I got to this point, I noticed that it was too bright. So I ended up going through, see how I'm just picking out the masking fluid and then it's just white underneath, except that one wanted to be difficult with me. And that's when I realized maybe I could just spread a little bit, very, very tiny bit and run it over the outside edge of like on the offset and just to take away a little bit of the brightness and it worked perfectly. So there you go. Just dirty it up a little bit and it works Works a treat. Now I do have a little flare button there. I don't use flare very often. Um, I've, I just find they're a bit bulky for me personally. But I have actually used flare twice in the last month. So stay tuned guys. I may find myself liking flare and using it a bit more i did want to use the flare on this particular layout because it just there was a little pocket there and i thought i could either put a flat photo or i could actually squirrel me in this little bit of flare onto the page so that worked nicely see just down the bottom there it just adds shine and it draws your attention to the photo a little bit more and I'm just cutting out, um, I went to the cut apart sheet and in the center of one of the cut apart sheets, there's, or in three, you get three of them and they're wreaths and they had slightly smaller poppies. So that's what I did, the smaller ones right towards the center. And I cut some smaller sprigs of greenery as well. Now, I am coming in, I do zoom you in here in a minute because I have had a few people say to me, when you glue them down, what, what does it actually look like? Because it's so far back. So I do zoom you in 
Now, these are black fingernail diamantes. I bought these quite a while ago, and they're super tiny, but they're perfect for a poppy. Now, my art glitter glue, I'm just touching it on the flower. I'm not squeezing the bottle at all because you just need the teeniest, tiniest dot for these to stick on and it works perfectly. So now my poppies have got beautiful little black poppy seeds. Oh, that's funny. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to crack myself up. Is that, okay, I'm going to sound really dumb. Is that where we get poppy seeds from? Maybe, I guess so. Where else would you get poppy seeds from? Okay, just had myself a blonde moment there, guys. I'm a brunette, trust me. I just had myself a moment. No offense to any blondes. I know that's a cliche. I know it's my best friends. My best friends are blondie. So, yeah. So, I am just going ahead and popping these little guys in and that will be that will be me calling my layout done i did put some glossy accents i did come in with glossy accents here in a minute as well just to add a little bit more texture to these beautiful flowers now i'm just going to do my shameless plug if you've not already liked commented or subscribed i would love you to subscribe it is free and it helps out my channel be noticed just a tiny bit more and it gets other people to get my videos to pop up on other people's pages when they're searching for scrapbooking that's what that's what it, it helps out and um the other thing that i wanted to let you know is i have my facebook group over on the old facebook and you can share over there as much if you've got a question if you're looking for something if you are planning on doing something you want to share your scrapbook pages go for it I'm more than happy for that to happen over there also I do have my buy me a coffee link in the description below that is there for those I'm just showing you super close you can still see the blue through the brown but I think it's fine so um, my buy me a coffee link is there for those that have asked how they can support my channel um, by sending me things or, or whatever else. And yeah, so thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate it all. I would love to hear where you're from. I've had some new subscribers lately. I'd love to know where they've come from. And if you know where or how I can promote my channel in another way, let me know. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Check out that wood. Is that not great wood? I love it. Thank you, Alicia Rachel. Thanks very much, guys. I will chat to you again soon. Bye for now.